What's up everyone? So today what I want to try to do is make a video and it's going to be on a few different things. The first main thing that it's going to be on is going to be the return home function and how accurate it is. I'm going to be taking off of this uh, concrete block here and we're going to see how close it lands to that when it comes back home. The second part of it is going to be sort of a review on a signal booster and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it a little different than what most people do. I'm going to fly directly straight out until I start losing video quality, image transmission, or uh, signal gets really bad. And then I'm going to try to place this on there before it disconnects and see if it improves the signal. And then I'm going to try to fly a little further. And then the third part of it is going to be maybe a uh, max distance test. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's going to go uh, as far as it normally would because it's a little bit of a windy day so we're gonna go ahead and take off and see what happens hopefully this video turns out a little better than the one I tried to make yesterday uh, with active track following my son on his dirt bike I'm gonna try to get that one edited and at least post up what I have but it was a big fail nothing went right for me yesterday footage wasn't recorded right or didn't record my phone died and then I lost my screen recording at least half of it so hopefully today goes a little bit better. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Go. Lead subscribe to my channel. So the first thing I'm gonna do before anything is I'm gonna turn on my Marco Polo. I always turn that on before flight, especially today since I'm gonna be out so far in case uh, it loses GPS and decides to fly away or if the wind just takes it if I lose signal and it doesn't come home so knock on wood it's never uh, happened yet but if that happens stay tuned because you'll get a video on a live Marco Polo tracking test and if you want to see a video on how I mounted and installed this and a, a quick test on it check out my link at the end for the video on that I'm gonna go ahead and take it up about maybe 150 feet or so. We'll go 155, that'll be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it into sport mode. Let's go ahead and take it up a little bit. We'll go up to 200 feet. Okay, so there I'm losing uh, image transmission there. I can still control it, but it's real choppy. All right, it's in and out. So what I'm going to do now is uh, place this signal extender on top of the antennas here I'm trying not to move RC signal lost again uh, go home this is kind of hard to do with the iPad on here All right, so I'm going to cancel that, and it's not canceling. Cancel. For some reason, it is not canceling, so let's try to cancel it down here. So I don't know why it wasn't canceling on the iPad, but we're going to go ahead and see, uh, see if I can get any further. With, uh, with these, uh, signal extenders on now. And you can see already. Mm. 
I can't remember exactly what it was worth we'll to check it in the end, but you can see at the 5.8 gigahertz that it's actually a little bit better quality now. And I'm full stick forward here. Trying to stay in line with the aircraft. And I lost signal there. So let's see if I can regain it. Aircraft disconnected. So hopefully she's going to come home. Uh, we'll find out here in a minute. All right, so now she's coming home. I'm just going to go ahead and let her return home because I uh, probably don't have time to, to try to get any further. What I don't like in return home mode is that you can't control the gimbal. I wish that once you regain signal, you can at least control the gimbal up and down, but it doesn't let you, and it points it directly forward. So if it's really bright, your footage is usually either washed out or uh, I, I just I just wish you could control it on the return home. So what you'd have to do is uh, cancel the return home, and then you'll be able to control the drone again. So we're gonna just leave it go, and we're gonna see how accurate it lands to this block or on, on this block. All right, so a cool tip I noticed uh, that I seen on YouTube the other day, and I never knew before, when it's in return home mode, uh, you can still control the height. You can still take it up and down. You just can't move it left or right. Uh, I can hear it, it's right above us. And you can also push forward on the stick for it to go faster during return home. I didn't know that until I uh, seen a cool video the other day. I wish I remembered the guy's name because I'd give him uh, credit for it. All right, so landing. It's landing now, so we'll see how close it gets. And as of now, looks like it might land on you guys. Well, it's stopping. It's about two feet behind the camera. So here, I'll try to show you. This is where it wants to land in relation to that block. Probably about, I would say, eight feet off. Oh man, that's, man, that's crooked. All right, that's a little better. All right guys, so I'm gonna try one more time with the signal boosters installed. And the ones I have here are Sunny Fire. But they're pretty much all the same. They're par parabolic range extenders. Uh, they all have a, uh, most of them have the coating inside and uh, they just slip over the antenna. So I'm gonna give this one more shot with them pre-installed and see how far I can take that.
still have good signal but there's some power lines there so I really don't want to go over by those so let's go this way and when you're flying you want to keep this uh, one way to stay in line when you're in in this view here you want to keep the aircraft straight ahead with that white dot that'll give you the best signal so as you can see if I turn a little bit away from it see the white dot there you want to make sure that white dot stays lined up over top of the drone Actually, I meant to say you need to keep the drone over top of this white dot while you're flying. Let's see where we're at on the map. RC signal lost. Yep. So we're going to return home now. And hopefully she comes home. So you can see by the track on the map that I actually got a lot further than I did last time. And I think that's because I was 50 feet higher than my last flight. Also, you'll see when it comes back far enough to get signal again, it had to travel 1,400 feet. Whew, I was just freaking out there for a minute. Uh, it said, uh, function timed out on the return home and it didn't do nothing. Thought I was going to have to put the mark up. So she's on her way back home now. One of the best tips is being able to push forward on the return home to get it to come home sooner in case you're flying against uh, wind or you just need it to return home quicker because of your battery levels. I can hear it. We'll see how accurate it lands this time. All right, so interesting. That time, it actually said uh, precision landing home point recognized. So that time, it actually said on the screen precision home point land landing recognized. And that time, that time, it's way closer. Oops, pushed the stick sideways and hit the block. It's all good though, blades are still intact. Two scrapes on the edges though. That sucks. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.